Many of the field guide pages in Hogwarts Legacy are locked behind the Moth Mirror puzzles. However, finding and solving them all can be difficult. So today I'm going to show you the location and solution for each Moth Mirror puzzle in the game. Welcome to Savin's World, my name is Savin, and here is the location and solution for every Moth Mirror puzzle in Hogwarts Legacy. Now I've separated this guide into three main sections. We have the Hogwarts section, which shows the Moth Mirror puzzles found in Hogwarts Castle itself, the Hogs Mead section, which shows the location and solution for Moth Mirror puzzles found in Hogs Mead Village, and then we have the Special Requirements section. These are the puzzles that you will need additional spells to either reach or solve. So let's jump right in and get started with the Hogwarts section. Hogwarts Legacy does have an introductory quest for the Moth Mirror puzzles. So that seemed like the perfect place to start. We're going to begin in the library annex area and teleport to Central Hall. Head straight down the stairs towards the statue and turn right. This is where you will find Lenora Everly and can start the introductory quest, Moth to a Frame. For a more in-depth look at this quest, check out my previous Moth Mirror Puzzle video. Click that card in the top right of the screen, or you can find a link to this video in the description below. Once you've accepted the quest, simply walk up to the Moth Mirror Puzzle and cast Lumos. This will show you a picture of the area in which you will find the moth. From the puzzle, you want to head right and down the stairs. At the bottom of the stairs, turn left to find the moth on the wall. It'll be next to the big potion-making man statue. Cast Lumos to attract the moth, retrace your steps back to the moth mirror puzzle, turn off Lumos, puzzle solved, grab your field guide page. Next, we are heading to the library. Once you spawn in, head up the spiral staircase to your right. At the top, loop around to your left and head for the end of this walkway. Turn right to find the moth mirror puzzle. In order to find the moth, you want to head back towards the same spiral staircase. You'll find the moth on the podium just past this staircase. Return the moth to the mirror. Job done. Next, we are going to teleport to the Great Hall. When you spawn in, turn around and head through the double doors. The Moth Mirror Puzzle is located on the left wall through those double doors. To find the moth, head back into the Great Hall. You'll find the moth behind the faculty table. Return it to the Moth Mirror Puzzle. Puzzle complete. Our next stop is the Viaduct Courtyard. Once you spawn in, head down the stairs and keep to the right. Keep following the path on this level. Turn right up this small set of stairs to find the mirror. To locate the moth, you want to head up the stairs to your left. At the top, loop around to your right and head to the end of this walkway. Turn left and head straight to the end of the hall. The moth is on the wall next to the statue. Take the moth back to the puzzle, another field guide page to add to your collection. Now we're going to tackle the astronomy wing. And the first stop is the astronomy tower. When you spawn in, turn around and head up the stairs behind you. At the top of this first set of stairs, turn right to find a spiral staircase. Head on up these stairs and you'll find the moth mirror puzzle directly to your left once you reach the top of the spiral staircase. To find this moth, we need to climb more stairs. Head towards the spiral staircase behind you and head up, all the way up. You'll find the moth on a chalkboard to your left. Return the moth to the mirror, grab your field guide page, and on to the next one. Our next stop takes us to the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. This moth mirror puzzle is literally right in front of you when you spawn in. To find the moth, turn around and head down this hallway. Turn right and head up the stairs. Go through the archway and turn left. Keep going to find the moth on a pillar straight ahead. Take the moth back to the puzzle to get your field guide page. You can find the next puzzle by teleporting to the Transfiguration Courtyard. Once you spawn in, turn around and head through this set of doors. Immediately turn right and head up the small staircase. Turn right up to the next staircase. On the next level, head right through the double doors. The Moth Mirror puzzle will be on the wall to your right. 
to find the moth continued down the pungent passage containing the green gas. Take a slight left and head up the stairs. The moth will be located on a centaur painting on the left. Head back to the mirror, puzzle complete. The next moth mirror puzzle is located in the grand staircase. Specifically, you want to head to Ravenclaw Tower. Once you spawn in, head straight to the spiral staircase. Take the stairs all the way to the bottom to find the mirror. To locate the moth, simply head back up the spiral stairs. You'll see it hanging out on this wall with the picture. Return the moth to the mirror, job done. Now let's tackle the Hogsmeade section, which means it is time to head to Hogsmeade. And the first stop is Hogshead Pub. We're gonna teleport to West Hogsmeade. When you spawn in, head right and take another right down these stairs. At the bottom, turn right and head straight towards the Hogshead. However, don't go inside. Instead, head between the buildings on your left. Wrap around to the back of the building and you will see this broken stone wall. Climb over the wall and head to the moth mirror puzzle leaning against the building. To find the moth, we're going to head back the way you came towards Hog's Head. This time, head to the other side and go through the gap. You'll see the moth on top of some boxes here. Now simply guide the moth back to the mirror and collect your field guide page. To locate the next mirror, we're going to start at the South Hogsmeade Flu Flame. When you spawn in, head to the back of the building to your immediate right. This is where you will find the mirror. To locate the moth, turn around and head through this gap between buildings. You'll see the moth near the broken stone wall sitting on some crates. Take the moth back to the mirror, puzzle complete. The next moth mirror puzzle is located in the Old Fool. So we're going to start at the North Hogsmeade fast travel point. Once you spawn in, head to your left, up the stairs and follow the road. Head across the stone bridge and veer left at the fork in the road. Keep following the path and take the second right up the stairs. This path will lead you directly to the old fool. Head inside to find the mirror on the right. In order to find the moth, you're gonna head back outside, turn left and head around the building. You'll see the moth sitting on some crates in front of you. Return the moth to the mirror, job done. Our next stop is the Hogsmeade Windmill. So again, we're going to teleport to the North Hogsmeade Flu Flame. Once you spawn in, go left up the stairs and immediately turn right. Continue following this road as it curves to the left to find the windmill. Head through this archway and you will find the moth mirror puzzle to your left. It's leaning up against the wall behind the ladder. To find the moth, simply head back the way you came. A short distance away, you'll see the moth sitting on this lamp post. Guide the moth back to the mirror to collect your field guide page. Next up, we are heading to Dogweed and Deathcap. So once again, we're gonna start off at the North Hogsmeade fast travel spot. Once you spawn in, head to your left, up the stairs and follow the road. Head across the stone bridge and veer left at the fork in the road. Keep following the path, however, this time, take the first right up the stairs. This will lead you straight to Dogweed and Deathcap. Head inside to find the mirror on the floor to your right. To find the moth, we need to head back outside and loop around the wooden fence to your left. Scale these rocks and head to the back side of the chimney. You will find the moth here. Take the moth back to the mirror and grab your field guide page. Now we are going to tackle the special requirements section. These moth mirror puzzles require additional spells in order to locate and or solve. This first set will require you to learn Alohomora, the unlocking spell. This spell is learned from the Hogwarts caretaker, Gladwin Moon, in the main story quest called The Caretaker's Lunar Lament. This quest can only be started once you reach level 14, and you will learn Alohomora at the start of this quest. The first moth mirror puzzle that requires Alohomora is located near the potions classroom. When you spawn in, head through the double doors and turn left. Head down the spiral staircase and follow the hallway all the way to the end. You'll find the locked door all the way at the end on the left-hand side. 
Unlock the door and head straight through. Follow this hallway until you see the moth mirror puzzle on the right wall. To find the moth, continue down this hallway and up the first set of stairs. Turn right and you'll see the moth above the troll statue. Guide it back to the mirror and collect the field guide page. Our next stop is the Bell Tower Wing, specifically the Hogwarts North Exit. When you spawn in, turn around and head back into the courtyard. Turn left and enter this shack which contains a carriage and a locked door. Unlock the door and head inside. Turn right to find the moth mirror puzzle on the wall. To find the moth, you want to head back through the unlocked door. Turn left and exit the shack. Head straight, bypassing this first set of stairs. As you go, you want to keep the wall on your left and hop down these rocks here. There is a second set of stairs on the left, kind of obstructed by some trees. Head up these stairs and you'll find the moth on the wall straight ahead. Take the moth back to the mirror. Job done! Next, we are heading to the Grand Staircase section of Hogwarts, specifically the Trophy Room Flu Flame. When you spawn in, head to the right. Follow this hallway all the way around until you reach a locked door. Unlock the door and head up the stairs. Keep following this hallway and head up another set of stairs. Turn right and head up yet another set of stairs. Follow these stairs all the way to the top and head through the door. Turn left and you'll see the moth mirror puzzle straight ahead. To find the moth, head back the way you came. Down the spiral stairs, left through the corridor, and left again down this set of stairs. The moth is sitting on the overhang at the bottom of these stairs. Escort the moth back to its mirror and grab your field guide page. Next up, we are teleporting to the Transfiguration Classroom. Once you spawn in, turn right and head down the hallway. Go through the double doors on your left. Head straight up the small set of stairs and turn right. Go up the next set of stairs to find the moth mirror puzzle. The moth is located back the way you came. Instead of exiting back through the double doors, turn right to find a locked door. Unlock this door and head on through. Go straight and turn right. Up the stairs, into the next room, you'll find the moth on a pot straight ahead. Return the moth to the puzzle, job done. Next up, we are heading to the South Wing, and specifically the Clock Tower Courtyard. When you spawn in, head to the locked door on your right. Unlock the door and head inside. The moth mirror puzzle is on the right wall. To locate the moth, head back out the door and turn right. Head into the courtyard and immediately turn right. Pass through the archway and turn right. The moth is on the right wall. Take the moth back to the mirror and collect your field guide page. Our next moth mirror puzzle location also begins in the clock tower courtyard. However, this puzzle will require the Depulso spell in order to find. You can get Depulso from the quest Professor Sharp's Assignments Number 1. This opens up after completing the main story quest Jackdaw's Rest. Once you've learned Depulso, teleport to the Clock Tower Courtyard. When you spawn in, turn around and head outside. Cross the stone bridge and head through the double doors. On your left, you will see a map with a gold button above it. Cast Depulso on the button to reveal a hidden area. Head inside and you'll find the moth mirror puzzle near the back on the left. To find the moth, head out of the hidden room and turn left. Head down the stairs and turn left. Follow the hallway until you see the witch's restroom on the left. Head inside to find the moth immediately to your left. Guide the moth back to the mirror. Puzzle complete. There are so many more puzzles to solve in Hogwarts Legacy. We have just barely scratched the surface, folks. Now, if you found this video helpful and or enjoyable, be sure to subscribe to Savin's World for more awesome videos just like this one. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll catch you in the next one.